rainforest. Tropical and temperate. Major tropical rainforests are found in South America, Africa and Asia. These are also known as Earth's lungs as they are responsible for about one third of oxygen turnover. I also heard that tropical rainforests are also known as the world's largest pharmacy. <laughs> yes, you are right because lot of natural medicines have been discovered here. Okay, can you name a few major rainforests? The largest rainforest is Amazon rainforest in South America. It is the basin of river Amazon. This constitutes a largest collection of living plants and animal species in the world. Oh well, which one is the second biggest? Congo rainforest in Central Africa is the second biggest rainforest in the world. It is around the Congo River. Are there any more rainforests near the equator? Yes, there are rainforests in Southeast Asia also. So all these are tropical rainforests? Where are the temperate rainforests? Temperate rainforests are found between tropic and polar circles of the globe. What is the difference between tropical and temperate rainforest? Temperate rainforests have less rains, so they are less wet. But as they are closer to the poles, they are cooler than tropical rainforests. In my dream, when I was with Tarzan, I saw a monkey. What are the other animals in a forest? Ah, uh, there are more types of animals in rainforests than any other place on the earth. Can you name a few? For that, first we need to understand the layers of the rainforest. Layers of rainforest? Yeah, like we have layers in a burger. There are different types of plants and trees at different heights. And different types of animals live at different heights. So it is like different types of people living on different floors in our building? Hmm, you are correct. Let me explain as per your example. Now look at this. Here is a building with three stories and a top. Oh, so many animals are peeping out of the windows. Oh yeah, different types of animals live at different heights. Based on the height, a rainforest can be divided into four layers. Average height of the tree in a rainforest is about 30 to 40 meters. It means approximately the height of 20 persons standing above each other. Oh, yes, but some of the tallest trees can go up to the height of 80 meters. That is equal to the height of 50 persons standing over each other. So, based on their height, we divide rainforests into four layers? That's correct. The names of these layers are forest floor, understory, canopy and emergence. So, different animals live in different layers? <laughs> yes. Look at this building. Different animals. Can you name these? Hmm. On forest floor, there are gorillas, jaguars and elephants. Lots of insects also live here. Now, look at the understory layer. There are butterflies, snakes and frogs. Hey, I can see a sleeping sloth in a canopy layer and a lot of monkeys too. Most of the animals live here and it's too noisy. And on the top, in emergent layers, most of the birds are there. And ah, oh, so famous scarlet macaw also lives in this layer. Yes, with many of its friends like bats, eagles, etc. Can you tell something about trees and rainforest? Of course, here is an imaginary ladder and an imaginary rainforest. The height of rainforest is written on different steps. Do we need to climb? Yes, but let's first see what lies at the bottom. The forest floor is also known as shrub layer. It is dark and gloomy with very little vegetation between the trees. During heavy rainfalls, this area can get flooded. The second layer is under canopy, right? Yes, the under canopy is the second level up. Very limited sunlight reaches here. Saplings wait here for larger trees to die, leaving a gap in the canopy which they can grow into. Now comes the third layer canopy. The canopy is where the upper parts of most of the trees are found. They form a roof-like structure over the forest, thus blocking all the sunlight. It is usually dark in the forest due to this layer. Oh, 
The merchants are at the top of the tallest trees in the rainforest. These are much higher, and that is why they are able to get more light than the average trees in the forest canopy. Okay, now we have seen all layers. Let's go back. Now you know all about rainforests, their location, animals and types of trees. Anything else you want to know? Hmm, I have a wish. Can you take me to the rainforest with Tarzan? <laughs> oh, is that all? Here we go. Wow, now I know that Tarzan leaps from one tree to another with help of liana vines. <laughs> yeah, these are not ropes. Hey, look! A sloth. Do they keep sleeping the whole day? A sloth sleeps for 18 hours in a day. See that langur? Langur use their tail to hang. Thank you, Tarzan. Please take us back after some time. Wow, this tree has a very big stem. Oh, these are roots. Rainforests have a shallow layer of fertile soil. So trees only need shallow roots to reach their nutrients. However, shallow roots can't support huge rainforest trees. So trees develop huge buttress roots. These stretch from the ground to 2 meters or more up the trunk. Hey, it's dark in here. I know it is due to a canopy of trees. Ah, yes. Let me do something. Ah, now some sunlight is coming. So now you know almost everything about rainforest. Should we go back? Okay, guys. Bye. If you want to understand more about rainforest, watch this video again and again. And yes, please do subscribe to our channel to get a lot of knowledge.